Hello everybody, it is Immy from Immy's Animals. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded as much as I've said I will be. But I'm going to be showing you my bathing routine for the tortoises. I wanted to do one for the guinea pigs but it's too cold for them to go back outside so I'm going to do it for the tortoises since they have their heat lamp inside. I've got this collapsible sink which I got from Aldi which I really recommend purely because it is a really good height at this height for the guinea pigs or I can push it down like this and have a good sized bath for the tortoises so it doesn't get too deep for them and also if I'm grooming the guinea pigs and cutting their fur I can have it like this I think it's just about five pounds I'm just going to add in some water a jug of warm water here because the tortoises need the water to be warm so they don't get too cold and I'm just going to fill it in they don't have any soap in there or anything just plain warm water So I filled it up to almost this green ledge and I still have some left so I can pour it over the top of their shell. So here I have Nutmeg. Here she is, she's looking super cute. She's a little bit wet where she's been outside and it's rained a bit, but so this should warm her up. Oh, there's Jules being curious. So when I put her in I just make sure she doesn't lift out her legs or pull, show any signs that it's too hot. That seems to be all right. I just put her in. Jules. <laughs> it's really important for tortoises to be bathed or have access to water that they can sit in and submerge themselves in, submerge their back end in because tortoises intake most of their water from their shell, not actually through their shell but through like their back end and it's just good to get in their legs and creases all clean and hydrated. So I usually have a little tray of water in their enclosure as well as I bath them every couple of weeks as well. They tend to just sit in it for a bit like nutmeg is now and enjoy the warm water and then they'll start walking around which is good because then it gets it into all their little crevices and gets out all the dirt. To make sure that the water goes all over her I'm going to use this cut with holes on the bottom. Sorry, did that make you jump nutmeg? Also makes them look so much cleaner and shinier. Especially if your tortoises live outside, it's really good to bath them every couple of days or weeks or every week. If you can see at the bottom all the dirt that's just come off from the outside and I've bathed them quite recently as well. So this is good for their water intake as well as giving them a general clean. I then also get a towel for them to sit in and just dry themselves off for um, afterwards after they've had their bath. She's been really good, usually she's stomping around trying to get out but I think she's enjoying it where she's been a little bit colder outside. <laughs> Look at her, I'm just going to go outside and get Tum Tum and then I'll bring him in for his bath too. I've just brought Tum Tum in and whilst Nutmeg's still in the, in the sink I will just put him here. We've seen my tortoises before but this is Tum Tum, he is a boy and then Meg is in the bath currently and she is a girl. Both annoy each other a bit, they chase each other around which is quite hard because you have to separate them a lot but apart from that they're both lovely tortoises and a little fun fact. Nutmeg only has three legs, she got an abscess in one of her legs and so she had to have it amputated but she is still the happiest and most gorgeous tor tortoise, look at such a nice shape shell, pretty. And Tum Tum came slightly like deformed to us. He has something wrong with his tail which means his tail will be deformed ever since he was little and it will be for the rest of his life. And his shell, it's just nothing to do with his diet because they both eat the same diet and so they're both exactly the same. His shell has got a different shape to it that just might be him or some deformity that came as well as with his tail. But he is still lovely. I'm going to try and move Nutmeg a little bit to the side so he can sit in as well. Nutmeg has had quite a big chill in the bath now, so I am just gonna take her out. Sorry, I made you jump. I'm just gonna take her out and put her onto the towel. Now that is one happy tortoise. Look at his legs all spread out. Are you relaxing, Tum Tum? 
you relaxing? <laughs> He's so sweet. They don't really get people ask whether they can feel things through their shell. Because I shake their I stroke their shells a lot, but they do have it's like their main nervous system, they have lots of nerves in their shell, so they do feel people touching their shell, which is quite sweet. He's completely dry now and I've just got Tum Tum out ready to towel dry him as well. I'm now going to take Nutmeg and put her back outside so she can go sit in the sun and then walk back to her hut if she wants to go in somewhere but I think she's ready to go outside. Tum Tum is now ready to go back upstairs and I'll put him under his heat lamp before I go take them both some food. tortoises away in their homes currently and then I need to just give them something to eat. I just always do this after their bath. They're going to have some fresh greens and look at this. 3p for all this. This is why we only get um, vegetables for our guinea pigs and rabbits and tortoises that are reduced because you can buy so much 3p. We have a whole fridge full of stuff and it's all from the reduced section. You should go in the evenings, don't go during the day to get your animal vegetables. If you go in the evenings you get it all reduced around 6 o'clock, it's so good. We don't really spend anything on vegetables, literally under a pound each, each week. Tum Tum something to eat now and that basically concludes our bathing routine I just put them into the water let them sit for a bit I wash them then once I've dried them I put them either in the Sun or under the heat lamp and then give them something to eat and that is what I do every single time I bath them so they know the routine as well as I do I hope this was helpful to see for other tortoise owners to see how I bath mine maybe give you some ideas on what to do with yours or if it was just interesting or if you like tortoises if you have any questions let me know down below and I will answer them thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe